All right, so more on lead generation and more on uh, crazy shirts. I've, I'm gonna have to go to the store. I want to get some more, uh, you know, just plain shirts, solid color. That's uh, that's a little bit crazy. Anyway, sorry if you can't tolerate that. <laughs> Look away, turn the camera off, whatever. But anyway, so we're talking about lead generation and another doing like my my favorite top ten or or. or Maybe not my favorite, but definitely the most common top 10 lead generation strategies. And today's is on uh, community involvement. Now, it's going to be very similar to uh, when I talked about your SOI. So your SOI is your your um, circle of, I mean, your, your sphere of influence or your COI, your circle of influence. And those are the people that already know you. Like if you pick them up the phone and call them, they're going to go, oh, it's Jay, hey, Jay, whatever. So those are your your friends, your family, your neighbors, whatever, people that know you, right? That's your circle of influence. And I did a video just on how to um, how to extract sales out of uh, that, the number of people that you know. And so this one is similar, only the idea behind this one is adding to your circle of influence. So this is a way to get out there, to meet more people, to know more people, to um, build a relationship with more people that will then go into your SOI, and then you can go do those SOI kind of lead generation strategies. Yeah, that's what it is. So what am I talking about? Community involvement. I'm talking about literally going and volunteering on on boards and commissions with uh, wh where you live, your city, nonprofits, um, nonprofit boards. A lot of nonprofits are looking for people on their boards um, at the schools, you know, the PTA or the booster club or something like that. Um, your neighborhoods, your neighborhood association. If you're having a block party, be part of the block party. Sports teams, play sports teams, go to your kids' sports teams. Clubs of all kinds. If you ride motorcycles, join the motorcycle club. If you're into gardening, join the gardening club in your town. Start a club. Clubs are always a great thing. Meetups. You can always find meetups at meetup.com of some interest that you're interested in and go to those meetups. And so that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about getting involved. In your community now this can be for a lot of people this is this is the why of why they're being a real estate agent because some people some people not you not necessarily me but some people um don't love the fact that they're a real estate agent they don't like saying you know this is what i do for a living i'm a real estate agent they don't feel like that's really um in their heart or what they are you know they're just they're a real estate agent but that's not who they are right who they are is the member of the parks board who they are is a uh, is the president of the of that nonprofit board that's who they are that's who they feel that's what they feel that's that's what they get up in the morning to go do that and real estate just sort of uh funds that idea right so this this community involvement idea might be a great way for you to continue to have that heartfelt contributing to society kind of a feeling in your heart even though real estate isn't really contributing to society in that sort of a way. You know, I mean, I'm, I, hey, I'm glad I help some people find the right house at the right time for the right price. It's it's great. It makes my heart feel good. But for some people, maybe you need to get out there and, and get involved in other types of things, right? And this is a this is a good way of doing that. But I do have some caveats here. First of all, if you're going to go this route, then then um, you got to do the job. I, I don't want you just standing on the periphery of these things, right? In fact, I heard this just the other day. I was talking to some friends of mine. Do you know so-and-so? And they go, oh, I knew so-and-so. She was on this board with me, but you know, she was just sort of on the periphery. She didn't really get involved. And that's not, that's not what you want to hear about you, right? You want to, if you're going to be involved, then get involved and volunteer to go get that thing accomplished and then go get that thing accomplished. If your job on the nonprofit board is the subcommittee to put on the special event over at the whatchamacallit, then you better make sure that special event at that whatchamacallit is the best special event they ever had. You are, you know, if you're going to do this, you get involved, you do it and you impress people and show them that you are concerned about their community or their nonprofit or their school or their sports team or whatever you're involved in and prove to them that not only are you involved, but you're good at it and you can be counted on and you're trustworthy because it's, you know, it's what we're building, right? That no like and trust we don't want to get onto a board and commission and then and then not do what we said we're going to do that's no way of doing business so if you don't have that follow through then you know maybe this is not for you <laughs> um the the counter side of that though is that uh i don't want you to get too involved with too many things 
that you start limiting yourself and getting overwhelmed because then you don't do anything well. So don't go out there and join four or five or six boards. You join one and see how much time it takes you to be stellar at that board or commission or whatever. And then if you have some extra time, you think you can do some more, then go join that sports club or that motorcycle club or that whatever club and uh, see if that takes up too much of your time. And if you if you got if you're doing those two things and man, you're just inundated, then maybe maybe that's all you need. But maybe you can take on three or four things. Just make sure you don't overextend yourself to where the things that you're doing, you don't do well enough. That'll lose your friends, right? We want to add to your SOI. We don't want to subtract from your SOI. So that's pretty important. Um, don't talk about your business all the time. Don't, for the other people on the boards and commissions, I don't want them to feel like the reason you're on the board and commission is because you're here to sell houses, right? You're not. You're, I mean, you are. You're not. You're on there to do a good job for that board and commission to build the no like and trust. And hey, by the way, I'm a real estate agent. Ultimately, maybe you'll get some business out of it. But what you don't want to do is just figure out a way to say, you know, I'm a realtor. I'm a broker. Every time you're in a, a meeting, you know, somebody asks a question about something. Well, you know, I'm in real estate and uh, this is what I think about. it. It's just it's just creepy. Right. That's not what you're there for. You're there to build that nonprofit, to build that board, to do that thing and do that well. There's a, another video I have on networking, and it's it's sort of similar um, to networking. A lot of the stuff that I say in that networking video about lead generation through bit, through business networking applies here. And that is when you're on that boarding commission, all you're doing is giving of yourself. And then when people are around you, you ask what they do. Who are they? What do you do? What can I do to help you? What you know, so that you become the giver of things rather than the taker. But sure enough, the law of attraction says. If you start talking talking to them about what they do, they're going to ask what you do. And by all means, if somebody says, well, listen, enough about me. Tell me about you and what's going on. Then I want you to say, I'm a real estate agent. Uh, this is my card. Do you mind if we change cards? Do you have one? Yeah, here's me. Let's stay in touch. Actually, I'm going to scratch that. Back that up in just a minute. What do you do for a living? Then I'm going to say, I'm a real estate agent. Um, I love to help people buy and sell houses. Or maybe you can say, I'm the president of this nonprofit board, and that's what I do. But I fund that issue by buying and, and selling houses for other people, right? And uh, then you can say, well, well you know, and, and this is in the uh, SOI video. I talked about this. Hey, listen, do you have a trusted advisor that you can use if somebody or you or somebody in your family is deciding to buy or sell a house? Do you have a real estate agent that's your sort of go-to person that you could trust? Many, many times they're going to say, yeah, man, Sally, Sue, and I have gone way back. Great. I love the loyalty. Um, I'm, I'm glad to hear it. I hope I build a cadre of people that have that loyalty to me someday in, in the real estate world. And then you're done with, you know, you don't have to worry about talking real estate with them anymore. right? But if they say, not really, um, uh, you know, we're not buying or selling any real estate, but I don't really have a go-to real estate agent. Well, listen, do you mind if we stay in this when I bring out my card, right? Do you mind if we stay in touch and... And um, I'm not going to inundate you with things, but if you ever hear of anybody looking to buy or sell a house in the so-and-so area, that I, please keep me in mind. I'm really good at what I do and I'm committed to the neighborhood and the, and the city. And uh, that's that's who I am. Right. So that's the, the same language. And I did it much better in the other video um, about networking, about building your SOI. But um, uh, that's very important. So uh, asking others what they do in return, they'll ask you what you do. So pretty short video, but it. it I can't really tell you how to do this because how you react on a nonprofit board is the difference than the way she reacts uh, at a quilting club, right? But the idea is get involved, do it very, very well. Don't let anybody have any reason to believe that you're anything other than fantastic and stellar. You don't talk about other people negatively. You talk about other people with an uplifting spirit that can help other people move forward. Don't badmouth other people. Don't say, did you hear what Sally said in that last meeting? Huh? That's not important. That's not important. You don't need to be talking about all that. You come there with, with joy in your heart. You don't come there with complaints. Oh, the traffic was horrible. And, and my husband and my daughter and then my car is not bad. Don't come with all that stuff. Just come with joy and happiness. And let's see what we can do to move this nonprofit forward. Let's see what we can do to move this club forward. That's who you want to portray. That's who you want to be. And then don't let them, don't give them any other reason to believe that's who you are. Just a great human being with genuine interest in their life and in the, and in the uh, philosophies of the nonprofit or of the, of the group or of the board or the commission. Just go there with, uh, with a heartfelt 
attitude that you want to do the best that you can do. And you'll build more and more and more people that know you and like you and trust you and fall in love with you and, and want you to succeed. And when they want you to succeed, then they're going to be on the lookout for you. All right. So that's um, community involvement. That's another one of my lead generation strategies. Go get them.